What's up y'all? This is Ash, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. The newest update came out yesterday, as of recording this, and there's quite a few things they added, but the most important one is the new Pronto Mart. I haven't looked at any of this yet because I wanted to make a video first, but from the sounds of it, it looks like you just buy a lot of these gadgets on here, or variants of gadgets. They've added that now, so you get different colors or different styles. And this one is for, it looks like, discounts. Oh, they also added slime toys, which is something that was in the first game, but they weren't in the second game yet for a while. I'm just gonna buy it. Oh, I think that these just give you the gadget itself and not the blueprint, so you probably have to buy them from here for the blueprints, which is fine. I don't know if the variants um, are an extra Slimepedia entry, but that's, um, that's the Pronto Mart. And I was able to buy a slime toy. I already forgot which one that it said. I think the cotton slimes like it because it's a bouncy ball. So there's that. And they've added a new ranch expansion, or I guess it's conservatory, not ranch. Down past the den. So, I haven't unlocked that yet, so we'll go check it out. Oh. So that's why they had this little alcove here before that didn't lead anywhere, but it definitely must have been planned for a while since that was there already. So this one is called the Dig Site. It's going to cost 4500 to unlock. It looks like that area in the Ember Valley near the volcano where it's all kind of tropical and stuff. They put a spring pad here. Wonder I guess that's just for fun. There's new pots that you can buy. I believe it also has a lot of resources in it. At least from the sounds of it on the patch notes, they said there would be some jelly stone, maybe one other thing here. But for now, I'm just kind of taking a look around and it's a pretty big place. I wish there were more plots on it, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. At least we have more more plots to work with than we did before. So that's always nice. Because if you've watched my other videos, you would know there's over a hundred Largo combinations you can make, and we only have 20-something plots to work with, which some of those have to be taken up by food, or silos, or other things, you know, 
So you don't have a lot of space to put your slimes. You have to really pick and choose which which ones you want in your ranch. But that was the dig site. That was pretty cool. I like the look of it. And of course, any expansion is always welcome since, like I said, we could always use more space. And there's a couple free gadgets here they included that you could pick up if you wanted to and put somewhere else, but I'm just going to leave them where they are because I'm not a huge decorator. I'll just keep it the way it was intended. But that's cool for anyone that would want to move them around and stuff. Or put them in a different part of your ranch. Stuff like that. Now... You probably saw it a little bit already, but there's a new toy section for the Slimepedia. Which, I've only unlocked one, currently, and blueprints are gonna have some other things added to it. These probably come from the comm station, I would imagine, since almost everything else here came from there. One thing that's nice, though, is it looks like they've unlocked the whole... Slimepedia, it'll just be grayed out if you haven't unlocked it yet. Because in the past, they would all show us question marks. So I don't know if that's just for the Pronto Mart gadgets or if it's for all of them. But that's a nice change, so you don't have to wonder what you're missing anymore. But I'm going to have my work cut out for me unlocking all of these. I just finished unlocking them all a couple weeks ago, and now they've added more, so... <laughs> That's okay, though. It means more, more fun to be had with the game, which is always good. And... One last thing, I believe, they did is... It says they updated some textures for some of the dervish. Largos, like this pink, pink dervish Largo. I can't remember if it looks that different, but I'll try to do a compare and contrast for some of these. And it's gonna take me ages to find the others, because I need a fatty dervish, and I'm not 100% sure where that is. <laughs> So I'll probably just skip ahead in the video when I find it, because I'll be here for a little while. Alright, here's another one they said they updated, the Hunter Dervish Largo. Once again, I'll, I'll show the other one next to it so you can compare. And now I have to find Batty Dervish still and Angler Dervish, so... Alright, here's the Batty Dervish, and I will put a comparison up on the screen to their old appearance. And last but not least, provided that you eat it, we'll have the Angler Dervish. So it looks like that's about it for this update. It's pretty cool, I think. Now we have more options to buy gadget blueprints or whatever. I just remembered there is one more thing. They added a treasure pod to Rainbow Fields, but I am doing... I'm going to update my tutorials for the treasure pods, so we'll get to that in another video. And that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!